deep subjects sometimes have very academic arguments. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this is not the case with all Muslims and not all Muslim apologists. Now, in the last couple of days, I've been hit with a number of false claims, ranging from hate speech, misleading information, spam, all the way to illegal copyright claims. These poor, poor Muslims doing this somehow are full of sheer frustration and desperation coupled with hatred. And that's not a good or useful mix, I think. Yet, they don't have the guts to talk to me directly and then run away like cowards when it comes to owning up to childish and dishonest video contents or actions. Deep subjects sometimes have very academic arguments. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not with a YouTube channel called EF Dawa, a Muslim apologist channel I've analyzed several times over the last couple of years. This Abbas character was recently ripped apart on public radio by Majid Nawaz. You, said, you just said it's all terrorism. Does, 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 that, does that mean that I equate them to be exactly Well, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. I've asked you whether well, you can say in one sentence, not. Abbas, I'm going to ask you one more time before I have to move on. In one clear sentence, can you accept my statement and repeat it after me? The Taliban were an evil terrorist organization. I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. You have a good day. Do call in again, by the way. It's such wonderful entertainment speaking to people like you because everyone can see what you're about. So maybe he's still a bit sore from the ass whooping he got when I tore into him with my recent video. But people on the channel regularly seem to embarrass themselves. They, they lie and deceive. And then I catch them doing this and, and I show this publicly, exposing their dishonest tactics, their ignorance, misunderstandings and misconceptions. You know, just like that. I show the facts and I show what happens when you compare their claims to reality and then demonstrate where they're wrong. But the people at EF Dawa, where I don't think it's just a single person, they can't handle being exposed to reality. They can't handle scrutiny and investigation. They want to continue lying and deceiving without any interruption or unwanted attention. So instead of addressing my arguments, instead of engaging with me and having a dialogue where we can talk about their problems with ethics and honesty, they stoop to yet another dishonest level, fake copyright claims. Now these are frivolous as well as damaging and if I were rich, I would put the person responsible for that into jail, where that person belongs. Since Google and YouTube somehow encourage this kind of behavior, I can't do anything at the moment but appeal. And it's still a crime and remains a crime. This illegal claim of a copyright infringement. We all know what happened a few years ago when a lawyer took someone to the initial steps of a court case and only backed out when the criminal filing the false claim promised a lot of things and was let off so as not to destroy his life over an act of desperation, where also he had no arguments and resorted to an illegal copyright claim on YouTube. Now, what we need to understand is that my videos are based on fair use, where I put this into the description of every video. And I think I explain it, yet people with a criminal mind don't care about laws. They just somehow want to vent their hatred. And this is what I put into every video description, which is including the link to the actual section of the copyright law where the conditions are very clear and since the US copyright laws are pretty strict, I think this exclusion needs to be clear. So everyone watching my videos knows exactly what I'm doing, what my sources are and what the situation is regarding copyright. Now I'm being, I think I'm being very straight with this and there's no way someone can accidentally file an illegal and completely false copyright claim because they are told as part of the process what the consequences of a false claim can be by Google. They even point out fair use here explicitly and go on to explain it in great detail so that everyone with two functioning brain cells should get it. It's right here. Nothing unclear or imprecise. Yet EF Dawa, for some reason, these people have so much hatred that they will risk going to jail rather than allow fair criticism of what they do and say in public. And just to make this perfectly clear, I'm reacting, okay? I react to what they present. 
I don't accuse them out of the blue. I react to their offering. If what they publicize is justified, it makes sense and can be positively compared to reality, there is no way anyone can criticize this, least of all me. Like nobody has ever shown me something where I'm wrong or lie or make false accusations. If I do, I will act accordingly, according to what I think decency is all about. Something most Muslim apologists have forgotten about. Decency.